Hi, it's Victor Jimenez from BicycleLab.com. Uh, today I'm talking about cycling shoe fit. So most cyclists, road cyclists, have poorly fitting cycling shoes. And this is just because nobody's ever taken the time to explain it to you. And that's what this video is for. So first of all, the thing to understand is that a cycling shoe should fit your feet tighter than any other shoe you put on your foot. I repeat, should fit tighter than any other shoe you put on your foot. The reason is, a cycling shoe is designed to isolate your foot. It should have a very stiff and rigid sole, so your foot cannot flex this way, unlike a running or walking shoe where you need flexibility and you're going to need extra space inside the shoe. And a cycling shoe has a rigid sole and if you have proper support inside the shoe, you don't need any of that extra space. So we want the shoe to fit very snug. One of the aspects of having a snug fitting shoe is an insole. An insole gives your arch some support depending on what your feet are like you may need a custom orthotic or many of us can do just excuse me can do very well with a insole uh, an off-the-shelf insole such as this one these sell for about 40 or 50 bucks and they can be heat molded to your feet it's not a custom orthotic but this can be a really great thing every cyclist if you don't have a pair of these in your cycling shoes go out and buy a pair you want something that has really good uh, uh, arch support i recommend this brand right there sole supports uh, or sole custom footbeds rather um, there's many other brands on the market they're all good just pick one and put it in your cycling shoe now the next thing you want to look for is you want the rigid sole so with that insole the rigid sole and the snug fitting sizing that you're going to get the need for a good closure system is minimal the closure system is almost like an afterthought if your shoe fits properly likely your closures are just going to have to be closed a little bit you'll never really have to crank them down i caution you against most of the shoes on the market use a ratchet type system over the top not like this one but they have a ratchet system and they can be fine but avoid the uh, tendency that you'll want to crank that ratchet and crank the shoe down really tight you don't want to crush down your foot that cuts off circulation leads to numb toes all kinds of foot problems so you want to be secure in this shoe but you don't necessarily want to have to rely on the closure system to get you there this shoe has a really nice closure system it has this sort of wire lacing system so it pulls very evenly across the top of your foot uh, that leads to a very comfortable shoe um, they're very difficult to get on it's a tight fitting shoe so the, like i said before you don't need a tremendous closure system on this shoe to make it work so just a quick review when shopping for shoes. Remember, it should fit very tight. You don't need to stand up when you try on the shoes. Just put them on your feet while you're sitting down and make sure they're nice and snug. Don't have it constricting, but have it very snug. And if possible, try them on with a off-the-shelf insole in the shoe because that can slightly change the size. Lastly, look at the closure system and make sure that in order to get the shoe to feel secure you're not having to crank down the closure system really tight i hope that helps in your quest to shop for new cycling shoes if you have any questions feel free to comment right in this video or drop me an email and i will answer your email